the constituency of your group. And it's, it's really important to understand that um, all of the people who you work with um, in, your, um, in your campaign, are all, a lot of them are going to have different kinds of roles um, and the different kinds of uh, roles that they play. So um, first off, the people, like a lot of people in this room, will be the drivers of, the, of your campaign. And so they're like these little, or big, you know, depending on what scale you want to talk about, star, starbursts that are like in the middle of this thing. Um, and these, the drivers are the people who are, um, have the most responsibility and the most leadership um, within your campaign. So they're the people who are, you know, leading the meetings, or they're developing the plans, they're making sure the ball keeps rolling. Um, and you keep moving forward. Uh, the people who are um, just outside of that circle, most often, these are your supporters. And your supporters are folks who are also very, very involved, but they are not, thank you, um, but they are not, um, they, they're not going to have as large of a leadership role as the drivers do. Um, so they, like, they maybe come to meetings, but they, um, and maybe they'll step up to make sure a short-term goal is achieved, but they, um, again, aren't going to take as a big of, of, a, um, of a leadership role. Um, and next we have the, can you just write that? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, next we have allies. And so the allies of your organization or your campaign are folks who aren't going to take a leadership position, but they're, they're really important because they are the larger group of people who definitely support and are really behind your cause. So allies are folks who will like come to your event, maybe they'll bring a friend, um, and they'll sign a petition for you guys if it's like, you know, it doesn't take too much time and it's pretty convenient for them. Um, so a couple things to keep in mind about these are like the main people in your campaign. Um, first of all, it's really important to, as Katie drew here, it's really important to keep the boundaries between all of these groups really fluid. So, for example, um, maybe you're, you have some drivers, maybe um, one of the key drivers in your campaign, they take a semester off or they go study abroad or something. So, you know, you want to be able to help, um, the drivers want to be able to uh, have a, maybe a supporter step up and take a larger leadership role. Um, and so it's important for people to kind of step back and down. But you always want to you always want to be drawing people closer to the main group and be, be drawing people inward. Um, in order to do that, it's also really important to um, recognize that different groups of people have different needs, right? So, for example, um, drivers will need a lot of support from the supporters. Um, to, to like for day-to-day -day things maybe. But then supporters also, in order to step up, they'll maybe need really, really clear communication in what's happening. Allies, for example, need really um, convenient or easy ways to be able to plug in. So you want to think about the different needs that each group has. Um, okay. Out here in sort of like outside of this group, this is, these are the people you can think about these um, this area being like the people who don't yet know about your organization or your um, your um, campaign, and then um, within, but outside here, can you draw that? Is um, there's a small group of people, and these are your opponents, and so it's important to think about your opponents, right? Um, when you're thinking about who you have to deal with in your campaign. Your opponents, um, it's important to identify who they are and what they care about or why they oppose your campaign. Um, it's also really important to figure out um, good ways to make sure that they do not have an influence over your campaign so you can be as successful as possible.